Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Magic Friday. I am your host, uh, as always, Jamie D. Grant. Today we're filming uh, upstairs because downstairs looks like it was hit by a tornado. Uh, I don't even know if we get tornadoes here in Vancouver, but if we did, it hit downstairs. So we're filming upstairs today. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, when I do Magic Friday, I have hundreds of Magic DVDs, just more than I can watch in my lifetime. So the way Magic Friday usually works is if I'm making bottles or you know, if I've got a big bottle order, I'll just grab some DVDs at random and throw in Magic DVDs and you know, just sit there and do my art and, and watch some Magic DVDs. So as a result, I personally think that I've seen more Magic videos than anyone on it. For better or for worse, I have seen so many Magic videos. And it blows my mind how, uh, how much good Magic there is. Like how, I always watch a Magic video from front to back, no matter what. I don't, I don't eject it, even if it sucks, because someone might have just a really, have one good comment, you know? And if you can get, pull some information out of an hour, you know, one good thing, it, it can be worth your while. So, but it's amazing to me how other videos are just awesome front to back. You know, they're just filled with awesomeness and how I don't know about them, you know? So last week, big bottle order, grabbed some videos at random and I pulled out this. And I'm sure you guys already know about this. I'm way behind the curve, but it's fantastic. And of course, we all know who our Paul Wilson is. You know, he's one of the best magicians you're going to ever come across. Uh, sleight of hand artist. He's just, he's amazing. So the way, so the way Magic Friday works for me is I go, I watch the video. I'm like, oh my God, this is crazy. I usually go online and see how many people are talking about it or when it came out just to kind of, you know, get a grasp of what it is I've, I've missed. And the, the difference in the number of views to posts and threads, it's interesting. I don't know why some get you know, a couple hundred thousand views and then others kind of get a few thousand and yeah. I mean, this is, this is great. This is absolutely great. So here, let's just get right into it. What the audience sees. And uh, yeah, I've got a couple good tips, not that I can improve our Paul Wilson's work ever, but I've got a few tips that worked for me really well on Friday because I did it, I did this one a zillion times. So here we go. Uh, what the audience sees. Does anybody know what the worst poker hand is? The worst poker hand? Uh, seven and two, that's right. Yeah, seven and two. That's if we're playing uh, Texas Hold'em. But if you were given like all five cards at once, what would be the worst poker hand? It'll be different suits or something, right? So here, let me show you. I've got the worst poker hand here. Let me show it to you. And this is just something I'm working on. It's not, this, guys, this isn't a magic. I'm not gonna saw anyone in half. It's just something I'm working on because I've been playing a lot of poker and I thought this would be interesting. So let me just show you what the worst poker hand, a bad one anyway, maybe not the worst. Can that focus there? I'll give the camera a second there. So ladies and gentlemen, wouldn't it be amazing if I could just take those cards and somehow go from the worst and make it the best? Wouldn't that be incredible? If I could actually have, you know, the change it to a royal flush. Thank you very much. That's it. Um, okay, we got so much to talk about. How it went. So, you know, when we think of magic effects, I think one of the problems with DVDs and with magic tricks is if we see something that's too fast, we think uh, that that's great, it's visual, but how am I ever gonna put that into a routine? And my pitch to you is that not, not all magic has to be a routine. And I'll give you my JDG tip before uh, I'll tell you how it went. My JDG tip is a specific line that I use all the time whenever I'm doing something short. And it's, I wanna show you something I'm working on. Okay, we're gonna get really, as always, we're gonna get really deep in the mind here. That line, I wanna show you something I'm working on. I personally think builds a story in their mind. It kind of builds a routine in their mind. Why is he what why is he working on something? Is this for a show or it's poker? Is he out, you know, gambling in a gambling hall at night? What what does that mean? So I I say that my that line can I want to show you something I'm working on. 
it's about, it's about poker. And I just let it sit for a minute while I prepare. Prepare my, just to perform the effect. And I think that line helps uh, infinitely with really short magic. I've done it for years and years and years for Magic Friday. Whenever I'm doing something short and quick, I just want to show you something I'm working on. Bam, do it, and that's it. So, how it went on Friday, it was great. It's great. I mean, this, I personally love packet tricks. If you guys have followed Magic Friday for the last 10 years or whatever, you know that I love carrying something in my pocket just so I can just bust out. And the, a great thing about Fan2C is that I can do this with a, a borrowed bicycle deck, which is, that's fantastic. Like, to be able to go to someone's house and do it, whew, golden. So, Friday, it, uh, yeah, it was just, it's so visual, and it's one of the, uh, I always, I'm always curious to rate things versus uh, jaw-dropping versus vocal. People have very distinct reactions to different kinds of magic. And this was just one of those vocal days where, you know, it's the shut up. And as much as people worry about doing moves and everything, this this one is fantastic because what what does everybody want to see everyone wants to see the cards that you're going to hand them which are totally normal that's what they so many people give me the give me those cards so you know and they're <laughs> rock and roll dude take it look away and it just gives the opportunity for to talk about poker which i am a huge fan of and Oh yeah, so sorry, uh, the other JDG tip is I like the line I used of uh, do you know what the worst poker hand is? Because poker's been on TV so much and for so long now that almost everybody knows that the worst hand is 7-2 and two because everyone we all play Texas Hold'em. So it's a good opening line to let people feel smart. I like, you know, giving people a good day. So by asking them that, I get to say, you're right. But we're talking about all five cards. So it gives people a little bit, hey, I got a, I got a question right. So do you know what the worst poker hand is? 7-2? Yeah, yeah, that's right. But if we had all five cards, it'd be, they'd be mixed match, something like this. And this is something I just this is just something I've been working on lately. So take a look at these. Let it sit. Because imagine if I was sitting in a darkened hall and I could actually just change those cards. Immediately, people are like, it's like, Ugh. it was, it was crazy. Awesome. Fits in the pocket. Take it wherever. And it's, it's one of the easiest tricks you're going to do. It was so easy and there's no worries. So the difficulty, the difficulty rating is, yeah, I guess you could have a difficult, no, it's not, it's, come on, it's not difficult. It's fantastic. Just be confident. Always be confident, right? Um, Angry Bob. Angry Bob was no different than everyone else. Angry Bob, if you're just tuning in, is uh, he knows a bit about magic. He's a co-worker and he's kind of like, you know, the magician fooler. He knows a little bit and he's always trying to bust me. He was like no one else. Let me see the cards. Give me, give me those. You know, and Angry Bob, who I love to torment. I love tormenting. Uh, so we're here. Uh, it was awesome. So, you know, it's, uh, you know, do the thing. And it's there. And we're like, ah, that, all right. You know, I love, I love implying that, mm, uh, yeah. So, we should have our own TV show, me and Angry Bob. Anyway, yeah, he has no idea. And by the time they look at the cards, I'm, I'm so far down the street, you know, I'm so far in the clear that, that there's no hope. So yeah, how it went. Sorry, what the audience saw, how it went. Difficulty, JDG tip. And the JDG, JDG tip applies to a lot of things. Give the audience a chance to be right. Let me show you something I've been working on. I love the idea of magicians working on something, you know, like seeing, seeing something new. You know, imagine if a violin player came in and said, can I show you something I've been working on? You know, I've never played it for anyone before. Like he'd be like, ah. How cool is that? So, uh, Angry Bob rating, that's it. 
Yeah, I don't even really have any closing thoughts. Thanks for watching. I'll make this quick. I know you guys invest a lot of time in these, so take a break. Go pour yourself a coffee. <laughs> Pick up Fan 2C. God. How did I not know about this? Guys, start emailing me, telling me what I'm missing, because I shouldn't be missing things like this. It's fantastic. Okay. Happy Magic Friday. See you next week.